Hi friends, in this video let us see different types of membership functions in fuzzy logic. As we already discussed the features of membership function, so it consists of obviously the core, boundaries and support. So based on these things, of course, uh, without telling these names, they have taken some points and they have given some values so, such that they will correspondingly they will make some membership functions let us see how many types of membership functions are there and how they they are made according to some formula or how that will be occurred let us see one by one the first membership function is the triangular membership function as we have already discussed this part so here this is the function triangular membership function here the membership function is x and it depends upon three parameters a b and c and here the figure shown uh, let us directly go to the diagram and the, the diagram shows the triangle membership function for the values 3 5 and 9 where 3 from 3 the line has started from 0 and it likes to reach 1 and then after that it will decline and up it was ascending up to 0.5 I mean you can see up to this x5 of x axis and then it will be reduced and up to 9 it will be gradually decaying and after 9 it will be 0 so that's the thing in triangular membership function so triangular membership function have three values the first value is from where it starts rising and the second value is from where it starts decaying or decreasing and the third value is from where it became zero again so these are the three points we need to provide that means we need to provide in which type of membership function we should have that means i mean you know, what are the values of the triangular membership function and those values should be given by us and coming to the you can just read here the formula f of x semicolon a comma b comma c where this is the function f of x and depends upon a b and c and i want to clarify everything in triangular membership function so that we can go on see the all other me other membership functions so first here the value is x so at 3 and the here a is 3 and b is 5 and c is 9 and let us see how it works if x is less than or equal to a that means 3 if x is less than or equal to 3 the value should be 0 so up to 3 on x axis the value of y value on y axis is 0 and that is the fuzzy fuzzification i mean fuzzy fuzziness of the system so up to the point a or up to point 3 the value is 0 in this case and the value for b is 5 so from 3 to 5 the value is here we can calculate it it should be x minus 3 divided by 5 minus 3 that means 2 so x minus 3 by 2 that is the value so as we know y is equal to mx plus c where m is where m is the slope as the multiple of x is positive we can say that it is positive slope that means the line is increasing and coming to the next step here it is a negative slope c minus 6 divided by c minus b so as this is for multiple multiple of x is minus 1 so i can say that it is obviously the negative so it has to decrease decline so that's why the shape is like this if you keep on putting the values and if you keep on checking it so that finally you will you need to conclude the graph like this only okay this is the triangular membership function likewise for each and every membership function there should be some formula and the corresponding diagram will be given in this ppt i mean in this video so please go through them and try to obtain more knowledge on 
more membership functions. So this is one of the membership functions and uh, most popularly used membership function. Here the parameters A and C locate the feet of the triangle and parameter B locates the peak. Okay, yes, we already discussed but uh, without knowing the names. Here A and C are the feet of the triangle. If this is the triangle and the feet should be at A and also at C. So the these are the feet and the peak should be at B. So that's why in this diagram 3, 5 and 9 are the values taken A for A, B and C respectively. So at 3 is the feet and again 9 is the feet and 5 is the peak. So this is the thing. So this is the explanation for triangular membership function. Let's move on to trapezoidal membership function. Yeah, this is the trapezoidal membership function. Here, for trapezoidal membership function, we should provide four values. And this is the formula. Okay, according to this formula, the graph has been obtained for these values. The values given here are 1, 3, 7, 8. As we already discussed triangular membership function, this is also very simple. From 1, it has to rise. And from 3 to 7, it has to, it, the value should be maximum. And from 7 to 8, it has to decline. Okay, the thing is very simple. And the story comes from the formula only. So, it has clearly written here from B to C, the value should be 1. Clearly written. You just observe the formula. It is, you can, it's self-explanatory. You can directly see it and you can put the values from 0 to 10 so that you will get the y x that means fuzziness of the system so this is the thing and uh, okay we can see here a and d are the feet and b and c are the shoulders okay same thing we can observe the same thing this is the explanation for trapezoidal membership function and let's move on to other membership function generalized bell membership function this is something a different type of membership function and it was defined by the mathematical formula this one 1 divided by 1 plus x minus c whole divided by a whole power 2b whole power means only for x minus c by a up to that part only the power will be applicable and that is 2b so it, it shows just like a bell symbol so that's why the name comes like that and here b is usually positive Parameter C shows the center of the curve. Okay, that's why here the C is 6, so it is at the center of the curve. So in the diagram shows for A equal to 1, B equal to 3, and C equal to 6. So let us move on to next membership function, Gaussian membership function. This is also defined in a different manner. It is e power minus of x minus b whole square whole divided by 2a square. Here we need to provide only two element, two parameters. So I have provided 1 and 6 and this is the diagram for that. This is called Gaussian membership function and next Gaussian combination membership function. And this is the other type of membership function. This is called Gauss 2 membership function. It is a combination of two of these two parameters. Actually, it is, you need to provide two things of it and it is the combination of two Gaussian functions. So, this is called Gauss 2 membership function. Yeah. So, some rules are there for this. So, you can just do it. You can Read them if B1 is less than B2, the Gauss 2 membership function reaches a maximum value of 1. Okay, the in this also, the you can see it, this is like this. We can clearly understand all these things by using MATLAB program. Okay, after this video, after the completion of this video, I will do the one more video for the MATLAB implementation of membership function where we will see each and every point okay now let us move on to next membership function sigmoid membership function it is also with one set of formula 
1 by 1 plus e power minus a of x minus b. So the shape is like this and I have done it for 1, 1 and 6. So at 6 it should be at 6 the, it should be at the middle. So from 0 to 1 it has to go and it is showing positive. That depends upon value a. If value a is positive so it is showing positive. If the value a is negative it needs to show the negative side of it. So that is the differentiation between these two positive and negative. This is sigmoidal membership function. Next. So it is more conveniently the mem this membership function can be taken by the combination. So it has to be product of two or difference of two different different sigmoidal membership functions. Okay, so let us see what are these things. So this is the difference sigmoidal membership function. That means this is the difference of two membership functions. F1 of x semicolon a1 comma b1 minus f2 of x semicolon a2 comma b2. So this is the definition of this different sigmoidal membership function. This is nothing but difference of two sigmoidal membership functions and it is very easy. You can substitute some values and just see them. Okay. So here so we, I have provided a1 as 5, b1 as 2 for first Gaussian function, I mean sigmoidal function, a2 as 5 and b2 as 7 for second sigmoidal function and I need to combine them in this fashion only. That means difference of these two. So finally, this is my diagram. And next, this is the product of sigmoidal membership function. So I, I need to do the product of it. So you can also substitute the value of a1, b1, a2, b2 and then product, product them. Multiply them so that you will get the sub different values and please plot those values so that you will get the same type of curve okay that's the thing next s shape membership function so it looks like a s so that depends upon this the formula only so if you substitute some values a and b and then get the value of x and you can vary the x from 0 to 10 so that you will get the same shape so here we, I have taken A as 2 and B as 3. So this is the shape. That means it started rising from 2 and ended up at 3 and then it became 1. Similarly, Z shape membership function. This is just opposite to the S shape membership function. And here I have taken again A as 2 and B as 3. So at 2 it starts decaying to 0 and at 3 it became 0. That's all. This is the Z shape membership function. Now let us move on to pi shape membership function. This is simple product of S shape membership function and Z shape membership function. That's all. Not more than that. And based on that only the formula will, will be obtained. Okay. It's very simple. And here I need to provide four values. Here I have provided value A as 1 b as 2, c as 3 and d as 5. This is also just like uh, trapezoidal membership function only. At a it has it has started rising and at 2, at b it became 1 and at 3 it became decaying and after 5 it became 0. Okay, simple concept. So these are the different types of membership functions available for fuzzy logic. Okay, let us let us see all these things in MATLAB programming. Yeah, these are the MATLAB codes for each and everything. So let us discuss all these things in next video in by through MATLAB only. Yeah, thank you so much for 1100 plus subscriptions. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to share this video, please share with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do subscribe and please press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever we upload any video. Thank you. Thank you.